Yes, another chance to prove my worth. This time, I'll show them that I can do this. Thank you for summoning me, Master. For today, I will be your personal succu- Uh- Hi, <laughs> hi. I can't get out of this situation, can I? Yep, that figures. Well, I guess since I'm here, is it alright if I sit down for a second? Thanks. So, I should probably can already piece together. I'm a succubus. Why? Oh, yes. Why didn't I? I can just see how that plays out. Hey, old chum. Remember when we used to play together and how we would rough house together? Well, you're roughhousing with the young succubus. I can imagine how you would react to that. Look, it's not something that you can tell someone organically. Anyways, I'm not really the best when it comes to being a succubus anyways. Well, for starters, when people see me and are usually unhappy with the kind of succubus they get, they immediately cancel their contract. Well, yeah, I mean, being a succubus nowadays is a lot harder than it was, say, last century. In a similar way of how the digital age destroyed a lot of retails, succubus industries just it kind of became irrelevant. Hey, don't sweat it. These things happen. Hmm? Like what? Oh, the sweaters? Long johns? The gloves? Well, it's February. So, so, do you know how cold it gets being transported from one location to another? Especially in the middle of the winter. No, no. It's my fault. Honestly, it's because of my hot temper that most of my contracts get terminated. That and being a tomboy doesn't help. I mean, tomboys are popular, in theory, in practice, however, no guy would find any real tomboy attractive. Someone who can belch better than them. Someone who can beat them at arm wrestling. Although, being a succubus with the strength of a hundred men doesn't help. And someone who has all the rankings of the football, baseball, hockey, and basketball teams more than them doesn't help. I know that someone like me could never fulfill even one contract. How many? 124? Is that a gross? 144, okay. Huh? What would have been my plans if I wasn't summoned? <laughs> well, I was going to marathon the Friday the 13th movies. Well, <laughs> a girl watching horror movies on Valentine's Day. Oh, by the way, Weren't you going to ask that girl out? What was her name? Um, that's the one. Why didn't you go out with her? I mean, you spent so much time making those Valentine's Day chocolates. 
She what? She laughed at you? But what about the chocolates? Those are pretty top of the line. They were worth four months of your allowance. If you'll excuse me for a moment, I need to go for a walk. <sighs> Let me go. I just want to have a word with her, that's all. <laughs> Come on, dude. This isn't right. Someone treating you like that? It's unthinkable. <sighs> okay, fine. Do you want... Could you let me down now? <sighs> Please, dude. There's something I got to say. Thank you for trusting me. So, I know this seems odd. It's just the thought of someone hurting you like that. It just... It just... It just makes my blood boil. <laughs> Thanks. Let's not get off topic. But why did you summon me? Lonely? I guess it makes sense. No date? No girlfriend to speak of? Although, if you were really that lonely, you could have just called me instead of summoning me. Okay, fair. I'll give you that. Not knowing your friend is a succubus is a bit awkward. To top it off, finding it out by summoning her is even rougher. What? what? Cancel the contract? Why? Uncomfortable request? What were you planning? <laughs> Snuggling? Hugging? <laughs> Hand holding? <laughs> Fingers locked? <laughs> um... I wouldn't object to it, so long as it's with you. This feels nice. What are you planning now? Um, okay. Where are you going with this, buddy? TV? What, a little Netflix and chill? I meant watching a show or a movie. God, get your head out of the gutter. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I know. Coming from a succubus, the Arania is not unknown to me. South Park? Okay, I guess. Not the choice I would have made, but... Oh, <laughs> I love that episode. It's so funny how South Park depicts a succubus when Chef marries one. <laughs> Far from it. Although, if you talk to one, it might be just as menacing. Before you ask, I thought this episode was really funny before I found out I was a succubus. I think the only one that is close to this girl is Miss Rivers. Look-wise, she's about as hot as Katrine Zeta-Jones, but underneath, Arlie or me. Man, is she scary when she's mad. Well, it's not a, I'm gonna beat you to a pulp, scary. More like a, I'll break your spirit slowly and painfully, scary. Yeah, remember that summer I went away? That was the summer that I found out I was a succubus. 
with that, I begin my training. Trying to seduce the men in our world. Make them fall to temptation. Have them feel the pleasure of a woman. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I know it's not so my personality. Honestly, I don't mind men. So I must have a bit of a love-hate relationship with men. Well, rumor has it, the very first succubus was created when a man fell for a woman. Kind of like Chef here. Only difference was that he married another woman. Her heart was full of rage. So much rage that she vowed to destroy mankind from inside out. No, not at all. The whole singing thing is a myth. That's more of a siren thing. It's still a good episode, though. <laughs> oh, right. Well... The training, it seemed promising. I was being more developed as a woman, and... All the ladies were saying how I was growing into being a great succubus. And then... <sighs> my losing streak began. Don't get me wrong, all the women there were really supportive. The first one, they were all saying, Don't worry, hun. No one does well with their first contract. Then after the 50th time, many of them still should support. Thanks. <laughs> That's what many of them did. I know that there were some things I couldn't do. More their laws and not yours. I knew there had to be something wrong with me. Mm, well, stuff like don't force yourself to a contract. No blackmailing a contract. Humans have to choose of their free will to do so. You know, some standard forcing contracts and all. Mm, not really. I'll admit, there was one thing they teased me over. <sighs> Believe it or not, I don't like using purses, so I still use a wallet. They found it, and your picture. Some theories that maybe the reason all the contracts fail is because... You know what? Let's answer another question. I mean, we might as well. Well, before we're summoned, there's usually a 30 minute warning. A sharp ping goes in our ear. More for our benefit to get ready. Long story short, there have been some instances where we were summoned immediately. It led to some issues. Let's just leave it at that. So, as a compromise, we were given a 30-minute warning sign, so we can get our things done and figured out. Yeah, the unions definitely had a field trip setting up those rules. Well, yeah, of course we have a union. We're not that heartless. That being said, there is a possibility that... I... I might no longer be a succubus. Well... With so many failed contracts... And you being the only one to not cancel... I might lose the abilities of being a succubus. You know, the ability to subdue men. And the ability to talk really, really hot. There's a possibility that I might lose it to my one true love and become just a normal woman. Hey, I'm serious. Admittedly rare and some other hiccups, but it has happened. Uh, um, it might be you. 
I know, I know, it's a weird thing. But when the other succubus apprehended my wallet, there was only a picture of you. They're all like, Ada, is this your boyfriend? I was so flushed that I snatched my wallet from them and told them it wasn't any of our business. They teased me a little, but it was all unjust. They really do care about me. They tried to pin me up with some potential suitors, and it was all in vain, though. One of them simply stated, Maybe that boy is your one true love. I don't want to humor the idea, because that meant I might lose something very valuable to me. Friendship. The thought of losing my only true friend over something so lame. And something so dumb. It scares me. I know this seems lame and cliche, but you are the only person back then to accept me. And so I don't know what this new succubus look. I was afraid that if I confessed to you, you wouldn't want to ever see me again. Really? <laughs> you mean it? Friday the 13th. Oh, buddy. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's just I... <laughs> we're, we're holding hands with the fingers locked. Best day ever. Oh? What's that? Girlfriend? Me? I... I... My, my tail! And my horns? Does this mean... Well, I guess it's true then. I love you, bestie. Mm. Oh, right. Don't want to miss the first kill. What? It's a classic. Anyways, if my mom asks, I'm doing some succubus training. Well, I'm not brave enough to tell you that I lost my powers. Anyways, happy Valentine's Day, bestie. Mm. <laughs>